What's up YouTube? It's your girl Alicia coming at you again with a video regarding um, my closet tour. I have been asked on Instagram and some of my subscribers have commented asking me to do a closet tour and to see some storage ideas. So I decided why not? I'll just go ahead and do that for you guys. It's I'm not bragging by any means. I don't have much, uh, but what I have, I'll I'll definitely show you guys and share with you some some um, organizational tips. I do share my walk-in closet with my husband, so one side, well, most of the closet is mine, and the um, one side is his side. But we do keep a lot of our um, summer, he keeps a lot of his summer shirts. You know, we switch out a lot of his summer shirts and a lot of my maxi dresses and a lot of stuff that are really, really strictly for summer. Uh, we keep upstairs in our guest closet and then we kind of switch out according to the weather. I take all of my sweaters upstairs during winter time and then I bring those items down. So... Our closet is not as massive as I would like, but it's a decent size and with the correct organization, um, organizational tips, it has helped a lot. So um, if you're interested in seeing a closet tour and some jewelry organization and um, shoe and clothes organization, just stay tuned. The video won't be long by any means, so just keep watching, okay? Okay, you guys, I'm going to start first at the little, um, in the bathroom right before my closet door. I have these little storage containers here. Um, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And these are like the little three storage containers that you can get anywhere. I believe I got these from um, Home Goods. Um, and the first one, I keep all of my rings. I am a ring hoarder, so... Yeah, I just, you know, all of my little cute rings I keep here. I have many. I probably need to go through them and really do like a, and give some away, take them to the consignment store and sell them or whatever. So that is the first um, container. And then in the second box, this is a medium size box. I keep some of my arm candy in this one. Just, you know, a lot of my little um bangle bracelets and bracelet sets and just etc so i keep a lot of my bracelets in this one third container again more bracelets um more bangle bracelets i got that set um this set here from all those and just random random jewelry accessories but it's really convenient it goes with the decor in my bathroom so I just kind of keep it here on the floor as a little decorative piece but it actually stores my here, jewelry you'll see my bathroom door but when you open the closet door I have an over the door drawer hook that I keep a lot of my accessories. I hang all of my scarves on here, all of my, um, you know, necklace sets, just random necklaces that I just kind of pile on here. I have a lot, so I just kind of pile them on, and I try to keep the metals, the same metals, but I don't always do it correctly, so yeah. A lot of these little necklaces you guys have seen, um, you know, throughout the videos, or I have shown you some accessories from Top Notch Diva, etc. But it's really convenient. So over the door hook, I believe I got this over the door hook from Bed Bath and Beyond, and they were having like a clearance sale. So I think I got it for like four bucks or so. I'm sure you can get these anywhere. Walmart, Target, etc. Um, come through the door. I have this big picture frame here. And I'll go ahead and zoom in and let you guys see. It's just some pictures of random family members and special events and occasions throughout our life. This picture frame is really cool because the thing about it is, is that it's actually a jewelry holder. So you just kind of open it up on the side and it holds random accessories. At the top, it holds random um, earrings, and I believe it's like maybe 32, 35 earring holes, and you just kind of put them in. 
So they basically have to be fish hook um, type of earrings for them to be stored in this container. I mean, in this little jewelry holder. Then below there, it is some random necklaces that I keep um, here, like my more daintier necklaces, my um, my diamond key necklace I keep here. Yeah, so just random more daintier earrings, I mean necklaces is what I keep here. And then it's a ring holder as well, and it keeps um, watches as well. So I hang all of my watches here. Okay, you close this up and down below the belt rack and I think I got the belt rack from um, Target for like maybe $16.99 or something like that and it just keeps random belts here. This um, picture frame was from JCPenney's. Um, it was a Mother's Day gift so I'm not sure how much it was but I don't think it was over $50 and I think it's totally worth it. It's wood and very sturdy. Okay. When you come over here in this corner, I have another swivel belt rack. Um, here is a um, earring holder, and it swivels around. So I just keep random earrings here. This um, Sterilite container is from Walmart, and I keep all of my bangle bracelets here bangles a lot of just random bangles polka dot bangles I got that from um, forever 21 all those top notch diva etc and the last drawer is my hair drawer just random gels um, shampoos conditioners etc um the next thing right here is this jewelry bag uh, my my boss actually gave this jewelry bag to me. I can't get it off. What's up? Uh, my boss gave this jewelry bag to me. I'll hang it up so I can show you guys. And you know you can get these bags anywhere. Um, Marshalls, Target, TJ Maxx, Walmart. Um, and I just put random earrings in it. I typically keep all of my stud earrings in here. So yeah, I just kind of drop them here. The bag is really convenient and it's double sided as well. So you're able to store a lot. Here going across, I just have my short sleeve tops. I'm sorry, my camis or sleeveless tops, short sleeve tops, three fourth tops um, and long sleeve shirts as well as my um, sweaters. A lot of my sweaters and then blazers going down below I keep a lot of my skirts there in the back then it's slacks dress pants or going out type of pants there um, a lot of my printed pants and stuff here a lot of my jeans and shorts underneath here I just keep some random tennis shoes. All of my tennis shoes is pretty much stored under here. Just to have them accessible because I don't have room on my on my racks. And then I do have some random um, boots as well. So I utilize every single inch of my space. Going straight in the middle, this is my laundry basket. Color clothes, white clothes, and a lot of my chunkier stuff. Flat shoes, 
and that bottom shelf is my husband's shoes because this is technically his side but he allowed me to put two shelves up um, and utilize that space because his shoes do not fit on those little wire rack shelf things um, this side is all of his work shirts and some um, go out type shirts as well like this one and the bottom is all of his jeans and I'll step back so you guys can see a view over here this is all of my shoes I kind of coordinate them a little by color and by style so this is a lot of my um, pumps these are a lot of my pumps on the bottom bro then on the top row some pumps as well but then you also get into some open toe shoes and the sandals complete sandals with heels are for in um, at the top storage idea and this allows me to be able to see what I have because I used to keep my shoes in boxes and it was just a pain I also keep a step ladder in here so I'm able to get to all of my items that I have in this closet okay I'm going to swing around and show you guys the um, purse doors these are just some utility hooks from the garage I'm, I'm sorry from Home Depot that you put into your garage and they're really sturdy and you're able to get a lot of purses up here I think I currently have like maybe eight purses on this one rack right here yeah and on this one so a nice utilization of space upper space that you probably don't utilize anyway just get you some um, hooks and throw those handbags up there and it allows them to keep their shape also I used to kind of you know fold your bags throw them everywhere and then you lose their shape and I really hate that so this allows you to keep the shape of your handbags also okay now this side we just have these standard um built-ins that came with the closet and the top shelf I have we keep our standard our body towels and face towels that's strictly for us I'm um, in the second rack is where I keep all of my makeup I have um, my palettes are here coastal scents palette another coastal scents palette my BH cosmetic party girl palette I have a MAC palette, Urban Decay palette, and a concealer palette there. I keep all of my NYX um, lip pencils in this little storage container I believe I got from the dollar store. And this little container here, acrylic container I got from the container store. It has some lipstick, um, lipstick slots. And then I just keep some random fingernail polishes in the middle with my Fix Plus back in this area. And my Beauty Blender shouldn't be here, but okay, on top of this acrylic container, I have all of my lipsticks here. So I can just bring them down, put them here, and MAC is, some of my MAC lipsticks are in the front row. My... Kate Rimmel collection, my Maybelline Vivid, um, some NYX lipsticks, and some Milani lipsticks here in the back. So yeah. And some makeup remover wipes are back there as well. The top drawer here came from the container store, and this is where I just keep a lot of my um, lip glosses, a lot of my little... Uh, MAC lip glosses are in here as well as some lipsticks that I can't store in my lipstick um, holder. This drawer here, I love this thing because the drawers do come out. I keep my MAC Blunt um, Blush, Ruby Kisses, um, Banana Powder, and some mineralized skin finishes that I have. This one is, what's this one, Cheeky Bronze. And just some, you know, basically for the face. This one here are some palettes.
that I keep. A lot of my Wet n Wild palettes are in here. Um, and a couple of MAC palettes, four quad palettes that they came out with. And this Sterilite container is from Walmart. I just keep a lot of my eyeshadows in the bottom one. A lot of my um, pencil, my NYX um, eyeshadow pencils and color tattoos in this one. And this one, some of MAC pigments and my Studio Fix Foundation, etc. Um, eyeshadow, I'm sorry, eyelashes. And eyelashes, yeah, in that one. And just some random, this are, is mostly my blush um, container. Elf, NYX, Milani, etc. Then I have these next... Um, the next section is these little containers that I keep and it just looks good for storage because I don't want to have things open and out. The next thing is where my husband pretty much keeps his sweater. I have snuck a couple of items up here but sweaters and all of his shorts and stuff. Then we just have this hook for our, our um, robes and etc. So yeah, that's the bathroom. Okay, so I'm going to swing around and give you guys another view of the closet. I hope this video was helpful for some storage ideas. Like I said, this is a long closet, but it's a narrow closet as well. So it's a good utilization of space. I want to eventually get a rug to go here. And I want to put in a chandelier or some type of cute light fixture in here. Um as well so when I do that it'll look really nice and yeah that's it okay if you guys have any questions or comments please leave them below I'll be happy to tell you guys where I got some of some of these items